What's up guys? Want to do a, a different video today on something a little more personal, which is um, my chest. I had a pectus excavatum, or a concave chest, which is where your chest dips in, which it dipped in right about in here, and um, it was really bad, it was really noticeable, it used to make me super self-conscious, but I uh, ended up having surgery on it to uh, correct the deformity, which what they did is they uh, cut me open right here, if you can see it, see the scar. They hit me on this side too. They put this bar through my chest with these stabilizers on each side, right through here, just like this. So I went in right through there. I went in upside down actually. And they popped, popped it around and popped my chest out flat. But um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about it, make a video because I know when um, I was going through it, I wanted to know everything I could know about the uh, surgery or uh, what you could look like after surgery or what you could do, um, which my chest is always going to be a little bit deformed and never going to be exactly how I want it. But I mean, I did a pretty good job of uh, after surgery of building my chest up to make it look good and not noticeable at all. Like if I were to walk around with my shirt off, no one's going to know like that I used to have a concave chest or surgery even on my chest unless I tell them and show them because if you actually look at my chest on this side this is my uh this pec is actually bigger than this one because of the way my chest was and after the surgery um of them put, popping it out this side was flatter than this side because after the surgery this side was still um a little caved in because with the surgery they can never make it perfect and pop it out all the way they just get it as close as they can, which I was happy with the result. It looked pretty normal to me. So, if you look at my chest, right in here, you can kind of see that it dips in and there's less definition compared to on this side. It still dips in a little bit, but not as much as this side. And if I even show you, like right here, this is like where it's flat. I mean, this is how far it goes down. You can see it curves in a little bit, but not as much as this side. Watch. See that? hard to see but this side dips in pretty well but I mean my chest after the surgery I started working out it's been since I had the bar in it's been about four years since I had the bar in um, two years since I had it taken out I got it in for a uh, put it in at 18 years old and then they took the bar out when I was uh, 20 I am now 22 um, the surgery isn't that bad I would honestly do it again it's it is painful, but you're on so much like medication, so out of it, you don't remember, you can't hardly feel anything, you're so out of it, I can't even think back to the hospital except for like three moments that I had in the hospital. I was in the hospital for five, five or six days. I was in there for a while because my surgery was pretty bad because my um, case was so like, so severe, like my chest was super caved in, so I had to wait longer in the hospital because of the surgery was so like dramatic on me. But um, after um, I had the surgery, um, I decided to start working out to try to, for other reasons besides the, my actual chest actually, but one of the benefits was my chest. And um, I built my chest up as well as I could. I'm still building it up now, but this is <laughs> what I did basically in uh, one year of uh, gaining, gaining weight and one year of uh, losing weight. I built my chest up to look like this, so. If you're wondering what you can look like without, with the surgery and with working out to try to build yourself up, I mean, I feel like from what I looked like before and not taking my shirt off at all and being so insecure about it to what I look like now and I have no problem like taking my shirt off, like you could never have gotten me to take my shirt off before when I had a, a concave chest, but now like I don't even care, no one can tell, I'd like to take it off now, <laughs> I mean I feel like I, I uh, came a long way and built myself like pretty well so that's basically it if you have any questions just let me know I can answer them I can maybe make another video I just want to do like a little quick video of what to kind of um, expect what your chest could look like um, with a, enough hard work after the surgery and to let you know like if I were to 
you asked about the surgery that I would definitely do the surgery over again in a heartbeat. I wish I would have done it sooner. I did it a little when I was a little older. I waited till I was 18 because I was kind of freaked out when they told me I was supposed to get it done at 16. But then I, I put it off because I didn't want to go through the whole uh, like recovery time of like three months away from activities because I used to be really big into skating and stuff and I didn't want to have to stop for three months so I put it off and the surgery seemed really um, really bad and um, all the uh, stuff that could go wrong really scared me away from it but after uh, two years of thinking about it and really being self-conscious and wanting to just get it done because of uh, other complications like uh, shortness of breath and uh, chest pain I decided to go through the, the surgery which I wish I would have done quicker so I didn't have to do with the chest pain and uh, shortness of breath and uh, the way it looked so um, that's it Remember, again, any questions about it, any way I can help anyone with um, any questions about it to decide if they want to get the surgery done or if it's worth it for them or what they should do to build up their chest, just leave a comment, um, subscribe, maybe I'll put more videos out about this, but this is just my first video because I just started getting into YouTube. So, again, pectus excavatum, concave chest, this is what it looks like, this is what you can do, this is what you can get to look like. Alright, so make sure you uh, like the video if you like the video and uh, comment, subscribe.